Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle and this is The Belle Perspective. And today we're going to be reviewing The Belle Collective Season 3, Episode 6, The Sun J Also Rises. But before we get into that, I've got a couple housekeeping items we got to cover. All right, y'all already know this is a growing channel. This is a growing channel and I need your help. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much, but I still need your help. Make sure you like and comment in the comment section. Um, and that'll help your girl out, okay? Y'all, I don't really feel like it was a whole lot that happened this episode. I mean, it was a lot that happened, but a whole lot didn't happen, if you know what I mean. So, we're coming back from the wig launch with um, Latrice, and Latrice is getting all emotional. And I, at first, I was like, are these real tears? Are, are these real tears? Because I do remember in a couple episodes before, she was talking about selena coming and it, it just seemed i don't know i i i think that she kind of was maybe hoping for a little bit of a banter i don't know if she was expecting a full blowout the way that that was but i do think that latrice was kind of anticipating a little bit of back and forth between selena and sophia shante uh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was looking at Latrice like, girl, are these real tears, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the girl the, the benefit of the doubt. That's what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because I don't know. Y'all see that big? Oh my god, that knot on Gucci forehead. Gucci so so Gucci got like five names. Gucci Sophia Shante. Okay, that's her name. We gonna call her Sophia Shante because I'm not calling her Gucci. So, well, I keep saying I'm not calling her Gucci, but. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm doing. I'm mixing it up, but we're going we gonna to get there. Sophia Shante had this big knot on her forehead. I was like, oh my God. Like that, Selena, are you kidding? Keep your hands, to, like it wasn't that. Okay, so the whole situation of not speaking. I think that their relationship, Sh Selena and Sophia Shante, they have never had a really good relationship for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, uh, not sure because because Selena was fooling fooling around with Cliff while she was married to JJ. So I'm not understanding why she would have any type of animosity towards the new woman that JJ marries. But I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. I need full. I need backstory on this before I can make any real judgments. But what I will say, just from Black Girl Code and y'all, Black women, y'all know the code, okay? Get down in the comments and put some more Black Girl Codes down here, in, including the ones that I'm about to say. But Black Black Girl Code is when you walk into a room full of women, especially. Okay, so you walk into a room full of women. But if there's a woman in there that you don't too much care for, too much food with, like that, like that, sorry, I know that's stormy, but we're going to do it anyway. Like that, like that, you, it's best to do the, hey, everybody, right? So not, as to not draw too much attention to the fact that you don't like this specific person, right? What Sophia Shante did was walk directly up, and now it's only, it's only two of them, it's Tam and Selena. Sophia Shante walks up to Tam, talks to her, have a little bit of a little conversation with her, and then walks off, looks at Shante, uh, Selena, and walks off. Like that, I, I understand that y'all don't, y'all have a, I speak what I feel like it kind of conversation or relationship, which is fine. But because it is not, because it wasn't enough people to buffer the, 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 hey, how you doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, girl, how you doing? It wasn't enough people for it to not be so obvious that you blatantly were not speaking to Selena. That, Sophia, you, that was disrespect. That was disrespect. That was disrespect. It really was. Um, and, and now where Selena took it left is Selena got in her ego. Okay, because it wasn't that serious to hit her. I, I, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Gucci called her uh, extra. I was like, damn, damn, damn. But I, 
If it's you quit kick your hands to yourself. I I just feel like Selena was in her in her feelings, in her ego, and it, it went there. Okay, I spent way too much time talking about that. What else is happening? Um, the oh, shout out R.I.P. Grandma. R.I.P. Grandma, Lynn's grandmother passed. Y'all, that was such a hard thing. That that's a hard. That was a hard thing. That was a hard thing to watch. So, uh, condolences to Glenn, even though he trifling as hell. JJ is talking to Sophia Shante about Selena and how Selena wasn't present as a mother. And again, I need full backstory. This is the old. This is going. This is their account, right? This is their story. I don't know. I'm not saying that they're lying, but I need to hear I need the I need the full story. I need to hear both sides because I can't I don't really know if that's true. Marie goes, her daughter daughter Zuri is so cute, y'all. Zuri is such a cute name to me. That is so cute and creative. So Marie is with her daughter Zuri. They are practicing for dance. They're having a, a Christmas dance um uh, recital i think or some activity that they're doing and marie is with them uh, sophia shante comes and meets with marie and they are talking about the whole thing that happened with the wig launch because obviously marie wasn't there because she can't stay on latrice now everybody keeps saying that latrice ain't shit latrice ain't shit and i'm like well what is latrice what do latrice be doing Outside of her being insecure and rag with her raggedy husband that makes people say such things like this about her. Because I feel like don't nobody really fool with Latrice, but Tam. I feel like just Tam and Latrice, oh, Leticia too. I don't know, but they keep saying things. I, I just, I, I need to know, I need to know what's happening there. Glenn is in the studio with JJ. Child Glenn. Glenn, let me help you. Let me help you out, sir. Leticia don't need no song. We don't either. We don't need no song. We don't need it. But Leticia don't need no song either. What she really need is a man that's going to be honest and faithful. She don't need a song, brother. All she need is a faithful husband. That's it. That's it. You doing all of this. What you need to do is change your behavior. That's it. I'm trying to get I'm trying to give you the keys, okay? Usually I be trying to ride on you, but I ain't gonna do it, okay? Keisha Willie is back home. Y'all I think she could be a friend of the show. I keep I think she could be a friend of the show. I really like her actually, but she could be a friend of the show. But side eye and Willie. No, something in my spirit. Y'all get down in the comments. Give me the rundown on Willie. I need, I need more information on Willie, y'all. I need more information on Willie because I was just looking at him like, hmm, what you doing up there in New York? And maybe, maybe, maybe I'm jaded. I don't know. Maybe I don't watch way too many of these toxic ass uh, shows and and can't even, you know, can't even see straight. They were in the confessional. Oh, I want to kiss and rub, and and it just it felt kind of. I was like. Is this real? Is that what? Yeah, that's what y'all really doing? I don't know. I, it, it just, it just didn't give. I did. Did y'all catch Akeisha saying Willie can come back and help me with my kids? Them his kids. Them and his kids. Is is y'all get down in the comments? Is Willie? Do they have kids together? Cause she, I know she. I I rewinded it three times and she was like, Willie can come help me with my kids. Willie don't be helping with, helping you with the kids. Hmm. <laughs> Again, I'm something going. I, my spidey sense is tingling with with Willie, y'all. He may be a good dude, but my spidey sense, he might be, but it's tingling. I'm, 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 I got my good eye on Willie, child. I do. Sophia Shante meets with Marie to the parade because Zuri is going to be dancing. That's where dan uh, that's where Zuri was practicing. She was practicing for the dance thing prior, and so here we are. Sanjay is also a dancer, and Sanjay helped Zuri, who I think is like seven. I think Zuri is like six or seven, maybe eight. Uh, helped her with her dance moves and dance routine, and. Sophia Shante and Sanjay get together and Sanjay is not here for Sophia Shante. Now again, I need because because I know that 
there is no real incentive for Sun J to lie about the way that she says that Sophia Shantae is disrespecting her mom, Selena. But I, I need to know what other things has she done that was disrespectful. Like, I need a list. Like, it would have been helpful for Sanjay to say, Sophia Shantae did this. She did this. She did this. I just need to know what, because Sanjay was like, oh, years of disrespect. Years of disrespect, how? What exactly was she doing now? Her not speaking. Okay, that's one. But also, if they have a relationship with it, it's a under, what's understood is understood that I speak to you when I feel like it. That's not really a violation. Now, again, you have to have a certain amount of people in the room in a certain amount of distance. Y'all know what I mean. The distance has to play as a factor in. I speak what I feel like it. A certain amount of number of people in the room. Like, you can't just do what she did at the wig lunch and that not go unnoticed. That that was a little... She could have just threw up a hey and went on. Hey. And went on. That was it, That was all anyway so i don't know i really need to know from sanjay's account what was so disrespectful i need to hear both sides y'all i really do i can't i can't make any judgments until i hear both sides anyway y'all get down in the comments tell me up to speed on some of this stuff because again i didn't watch seasons one or two so i'm kind of lost in the sauce and i definitely didn't watch dancing dolls so i don't know anything about selena but I, I do understand girl, Black Girl Code, and I know that when you have a sometime in relationship, you, there are still rules. There are still rules of engagement, right? There are still rules of engagement when it comes to those sometime in relationships. And I don't think that Gucci followed those, those terms and conditions at all. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. That's my opinion. Y'all get down and let me know what your perspective is. Um, And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.